Welcome back everybody, It's uh, it's been a tough couple of weeks hasn't it? This is my very very first um, official painting of my new channel. The very very first painting. I haven't done one for um, I haven't done one for a couple of weeks. Um, so I just there's so much going on for the past couple of weeks that I just could not find the time to just sit down and do a tutorial. I was just so 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 busy and uh, disheartened as well about the channel being hacked. So it's been you know very hard to kind of sit down and get your mind into a painting again. I haven't actually done a painting for a while, for about two weeks. This is my very first time now picking up a, a canvas brush paint the lot. So yeah, it's going to be fun this week. I'm just going to do a nice, nice kind of, a nice relaxed kind of a scene, a nice soft, um, easy to paint, well I think it's easy to paint, a nice soft little landscape with some nice bright, uh, a nice bright sun in the sky with some nice um, kind of mist and stuff like that. It'll be like a lot of browns, cyanides, labels, yellow, that kind of a, that kind of a tone going through it. So something nice and easy this week. Nice to, to kind of start the channel going again. Now I know I have been uploading lots of my older videos and um, thank you very much for your help with all of those and I hope I'm not bugging you too much with all the uploads but I do have to try and upload as many as I can. So every day I'm just putting two or three or four at a time up on the channel and um, at the same time I'm just I'm trying to sort out my Patreon um, tutorials as well. I'm trying to find those on my hard drive because everything is just on like two or three different hard drives. So I must trawl, trawl through all of my um, hard drives and trying to find exactly the right ones uh, for my Patreon page as well. So it's kind of tricky enough. Um, I don't want to be uploading new ones first. I prefer to put up the older ones first and kind of work forward to my newer stuff, if you know what I mean. I, I will put up a couple of the newer ones um, this week. Um, just to kind of keep you, up, keep you up to date with all the latest tutorials as well. But look, this is my very first one on my new channel, Stephen Conway Oil Painting. And um, I actually got a message from YouTube yesterday um, it, it was an email and I was very careful with the email this time I didn't I didn't reply with any passwords or links or anything like that it was from youtube.com I, I went into the header on the email and it was youtube.com so they were just asking me if they could assist me in any way with my previous inquiry which was the hacking um, they took their time getting back to me didn't they but they were asking me for all the links to my old videos and they were asking me for all the links to the videos which were put up by the hacker. Now I didn't have any of these links or the URLs, I didn't keep any of them, I don't keep my URLs um, at hand for my videos, only if I'm sharing them. So there's nothing I can do really, you know, I don't have the video links or anything like that. So I'm just calling it a loss and I'm starting afresh. So we'll see what they say, all right? So at least they got back to me. It was two, week, two weeks too late, but they still got back to me. Look, let's get on with this and have a bit of fun. I'm looking forward to doing this now. I kind of caught my eye. I was flicking through my phone, just in my gallery, and this kind of just kind of jumped out at me. It's kind of a nice warm kind of a scene. I think, uh, I think you'll enjoy it. So grab your stuff and let's go and have a bit of fun with this, all right? I'll turn the camera around and I'll explain to you what I'm using and um, we'll go from there, okay? Don't go anywhere. Okay, here we go. Um, it's a 16 by 12 canvas in an upright position and there is the photograph. Now that's, it's a lovely scene and there's some lovely shadows kind of cast across the front lower part of the, um, the painting as well. I think that's going to look lovely. So I just thought this was nice, a, a nice soft kind of a painting to try and um, really kind of using different techniques, creating mist, creating sun rays in the sky, that type of thing. So I just thought, let's try it, let's just try it. Okay, colors. I have a nice warm palette. Titanium white, I have Naples yellow, burnt cyanide, burnt umber, a little cadmium yellow, I may not need any of it, a little crimson, a little phthalo blue, just for some shadows if we need it, and some black some lamp black and um, we just fix the tape on this palette here now because it's coming loose okay there are my colors 
a nice warm palette a pencil now this is um I primed it once and I gave it a very light rubber sandpaper just to soften it down and smoothen it out slightly. I'm going to go across here, um, not quite halfway, it's maybe a little bit above, with a tree line. And let's come down at a side angle with that. And then I'm just going to put in the front here. Uh, we have a footpath kind of curving across slightly. Now it's almost, it's almost, let me come down a bit more, almost straight on this side and it kind of curves around on that side like that doesn't it and we have fences and that kind of stuff just along here let me just put in a rough outline just for just so we know where we're going with. okay now brush it, pencils down brushes i have my green stubby brush lovely soft stubby brush and they're just regular synthetic brushes if you want them just email me i can get them for you they have a lovely short handle so they're great for little trees that type of thing so i have this and i have a little drop of turpentine with a little drop of linseed oil in it okay so you can see it's just regular turpentine all right but i put about that much linseed oil into it just normal linseed oil and that helps the paint kind of move around on the canvas so i'm going to start by dampening my brush okay so it's now soaking wet and i'm going to just dab it on some tissue very quickly just to take off the excess okay now, I'm going to start with a very warm, uh, kind of a mauve kind of a colour up here, okay? Let's take some white. You can see on the photograph, it's a kind of a hint of blue, but I'm going to keep it a warm blue. So, I'll take a touch of phthalo blue, and it's very, very strong colour, so be very careful with that, okay? And I'm going to take a touch of crimson. Now, you can see it's gone very pinky already, hasn't it? So, I'll take a tiny little bit more blue. And what I want to go for, it's not a bluey mauve, but it's like a warm, ready mauve. So let's, uh, now let's just take a look at that. That's not bad, I'd say. Maybe touch more of the pink. And let me just test it out. Now you can see it is quite wet. Is it not? It is quite wet on the canvas. So I might thicken it up just very slightly by adding a little more of each of the paint that I need and some white. And the white will really thicken this up very very quickly now so let me just see now what we have here i could kind of go towards the blue but with the blue and the brown and the sun in the middle you might end up kind of getting a greeny kind of a tinge on the canvas so i'm avoiding using too much uh blue in this now i'm giving my brush a good clean okay i'm dipping it in my turpentine and giving it a good rub like that just to get most of it off and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into some naples yellow a decent bit and some white and i'm then going to start softening that into this warmer color that we have now when it wears down like that when it goes away pick up more white and go back into that color because i want a nice transition from that kind of a pinky colour into the whitey yellowy colour. I don't want a solid kind of a line as such. So Naples yellow white. And there we go. Softening that right all the way across. I've been very, very loose, just scrubbing it across the canvas like that. Look, see? And I'm softening both of those together now very gently with the tip of my brush and go right over into the corner look so we're really softening the colors together now aren't we understand what i mean now dip it in the turpentine again and give it a quick rub on your tissue just to take off that color and it gets very yellowy in the center doesn't it so i'm going to take some more naples yellow some more titanium white and i'll just stick with that for now i want to keep this a nice neutral sky i don't want to go too rich with colors up here i want to keep it nice and neutral now some white pick up some white just off your palette and go right on there with some white look go right across there and again i'm going to soften it just where the pink meets just with my brush look just like that now if you if you wanted you could if you want 
take a little touch of the blue all right go over here put just mix the blue in there just to make it a bit more bluey and you could just with that little bit of blue go right up into the corner here and add some of that blue just at the corner okay you see that might help see just a little here and there not not much not much just just a hint and what I'm going to do next is take a soft blender brush and I'm going to just soften look a very soft like a powder brush a powder a makeup powder brush and I'm going to just soften some of these together here make it nice and soft look just pull them together very gently now that'll do absolutely fine that's all we need and then we have a very bright sun here don't we so I'm going to take a smaller brush and let me see now I have tons of brushes here tons of them I'll show you look loads of different I have a small stubby brush I have loads of worn brushes um, I think I'll just use an old kind of a flat worn brush here look and I'm going to take some cadmium yellow just a little lots of white okay and I'm going to pick a point for my sun so I'm thinking the sun will go here so let's just paint a nice circle swirl the brush around like that all right and I know it should be a similar color all the way around so let's take a bit more white in that yellow there and I'm just going to kind of add a little bit of that color just here and there I'm going to kind of soften it out see just adding a little touch of that color around the sun because it does stand to reason around the sun is going to be like this halo effect from the sun and it's a very rich kind of a yellow okay and again I'm going to soften that with my soft brush just kind of gently pull it across like that just to soften it just take the edge off of it that's all and then I might pick up a little bit of the yellow and a little white and just put that vibrant color just in the kind of in the center and pick out the sun a bit more again now there we go how's that it's just to show it in the sky that's all really show kind of show it off now I've added a touch of yellow just underneath there like this and the next thing I want to do is this line of bushes here okay now I could probably just get away with using this large stubby brush all right so let me give it a clean you can use a smaller brush if you're more confident with smaller brushes um, I have a couple here look very worn brushes I have that one and what else have I got I have lots and lots of different types of worn brushes lots of flat brushes okay in fact look let's try this one let's dampen this very gently only slightly and we have a very brownie kind of um, there's a brownie grey kind of a tone going through this isn't there so let's take some burnt umber I'll mix everything up here now and I'm going to take some black and then some white just a little in fact we could even just use Naples yellow instead of the white and that makes this color then very sort of opaque it's not trans it's not a very translucent color it's not the type of color that you would kind of see through on the canvas it's a very thick opaque color so it will cover very very well so those three colors naples yellow burnt umber and black and i could probably even just take more naples yellow in this lots of naples yellow in this painting because it's a lovely soft color now let me just test this first okay yeah that'll do now it's going to mix with some of the yellow on the canvas above and it's going to give us some nice all turn like nice tones and it's going to mix to make highlights and low lights and look i'm just going along and I'm just dabbing with a rough brush all the way across look 
just to suggest the tops of trees. That's all I want to do. Okay, just an indication, that's all. And then let's bring it down. Bring that color down just a little. Okay, and it's nice and wet now. I'm just kind of softening everything through very gently here and there. And the next step is I'm just going to rub this on some tissue, okay? Let me show you. Rub it like that, get some of that off. I'm going to pick up some Naples yellow. Just with that, no thinners at all. Just go right into some Naples yellow, just a little. And I'm going to start softening some Naples yellow in under this, okay? Now when it gets dirty, rub it on your tissue quickly. Take more Naples yellow again. And go back on. And in circles, small circles. Let's just soften some of that in. Okay, rub it again. Pick up more. Let's put some through there. So now you can see we're getting this lovely sort of misty effect, aren't we, off in the distance. Isn't that lovely? Now my next job is I'm going to switch to my large stubby brush. Okay? I'm going to go back into that colour. I might even take a little more black in it this time and perhaps a touch of burnt sienna. So it might be getting slightly richer as it comes forward to us, okay? So let's see. Ah, now that's not bad. Right, before I go any further, I'm going to just soften some of these brush strokes in together here, okay? Look, just to make them nice and kind of soft and misty, because it's all mist off in the distance, isn't it? And you could even soften some into the kind of the sky area as well. See, look, very gently, hardly touching it. Very gently. So some of the kind of the lighter ones, perhaps, just kind of soften them into the background just a little, see? And let's just come up here and soften one or two and talk nice and softly to it, look, there. Now, how's that? Nice and kind of soft and misty. Okay, back to our darker colour and I'm just going to put a band of that across in front of that one so it's now pushing that one back slightly now I know on the photograph you don't notice this very much and I will soften it in quite a bit so look I can even soften this just by gently tapping up into the one above and almost softening it in just here and there as well and again when I come down further I'm going to take some Naples yellow and this time some white and I'm going to soften that nice bright colour in circles again. See, right along. And this is great now because the oil paint is wet, you can do this very easily. So let's go again, more Naples yellow. Uh, it does get quite yellowy down the bottom, doesn't it? So I'll take more Naples yellow, more white. First now I'm just going to concentrate on the centre area and I'll worry about this nice rich yellow in a few moments, okay? So look, creating a nice mist right up in there. Again, blender brush. And I'm just going to soften just here and there. Now, how's that? Isn't that wonderful? I just love that. And we're getting lots of different layers, aren't we? It, it, it gives you the impression of lots of different layers of trees off in the distance, and that's what I love. Okay, I'm just taking more Naples yellow on my palette because that ran very quickly. And I'm going to wash my smaller brush, the smaller one that I just used earlier. Okay, so dip it in your turpentine and just give it a good soak on your tissue, look. You don't have to have it spotless, you only want to take off the bulk of the paint, alright? You see? That's all. Just the bulk. And I'm going to, with this dry brush now, 
we can see we have a lovely band of yellow across there don't we I'm going to take some Naples yellow on its own nice thick paint look and go right across the canvas so because there's already wet paint on there it's going to kind of slide and blend anyway so you don't need thinners really see how's that and let's see now let's come down here with it like this look down like that nice rich warm color isn't that lovely i love that color and in fact i can see a bit of a pinkiness on one side i don't know if you could see that or not now, but i can see it so i'll take a touch of crimson in with the naples yellow and that's just going to warm just one side a little bit more just a little touch of crimson that's all i can see a sort of a pinky tone just on one side here and it's lovely it really is and soften that right in there look now give a brush a wipe again and i might take another touch of that crimson that's quite a nice color isn't it with some naples yellow and warm it slightly again isn't that lovely and we go up there soften everything together nicely look at that okay let's stop for a moment now and take a look at what we have now i could even go richer with that color i think so what i'm going to do is take a touch of yellow this time cadmium yellow and lots of naples yellow and some crimson so that's giving us a real warm color now isn't it and just a quick mix and let's go right there oh look at that that's nice now isn't it i like that yes that's nice i'm feeling it already it's all coming back and these warm colors are really helping there we are look at that nice warm color right in the middle there yeah okay again i keep sitting back and i keep looking all right that's not bad not bad at all i may just go up a bit higher with some of the color in this side here just go up a little bit higher into that brown and next i want to put some nice sun rays coming down from that so sun rays now you have to be careful when doing sun rays because you can very quickly spoil the painting it can honestly um i'm thinking i might just use a nice flat brush to begin with so a nice kind of a flat brush like this and what i might do is take some um white take some white and a little of the let's say this little naples yellow and you can't really see them from the sun can you they're more kind of showing in the tree line aren't they look i'll take a touch of the lem cadmium yellow actually as well so we have a very whitey whitey yellow there now and i put a couple from the sun first coming off like that and then this is the tricky part i'm going to just pull that color now right through the trees okay right through the trees so let's just go like that clean the brush clean it well then start again with another one let's come over here like so keep cleaning your brush now in between keep it lovely and clean and let's start again and I might fix this one just here and don't worry I'm going to soften all of this as well together okay like so and perhaps we have another one coming over like this now I'm going to soften all of this now down with the soft brush and I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to soften them down into the sky first like this look see so they almost disappear don't they and then 
I'm going to come down and soften right down like that. Clean the brush again and come down and soften them right in like that. Okay, keep going. I might pull one right down in the middle, so why not? Come on. Keep that brush nice and clean. And then when it gets down into this, I'm just basically going to pull them kind of down and almost allow them to disappear into that tree, okay? And I'm pulling from the center out, okay? So following that direction of the sun all of the time. Let them just disappear. Okay, like so. You following? And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go back to my the brush I used first. I think it was this one. I'm going to get more of this nice bright color down here. Now I need some of that on my palette. So Naples yellow. And let's take some more Naples yellow and a hint, possibly a hint of the crimson, shall we say? And I'm going to go back on with that now, like so, and I'm going to soften it then up into those sun rays very gently, you see? I'm going to kind of allow this to soften up into those rays. And I'll use my blender brush as well also. Now let me take some Naples yellow with some white because it's quite bright in some parts of this. Now, and then I'll very gently soften just very gently up into those sun rays. Look, it's pulling at different angles just to make it nice and soft, that's all. So how's that? Let me just sit back now and take a good look at that. See, that's not bad though, is it? It's not too bad at all. We have, I think, probably the hardest part finished. From here on, it's just going to be nice, nice and easy. Okay, let's concentrate on the, the fences and little things here. Um, do you want me to zoom in for this? I think you might want me to zoom in for this, would you? Just a little perhaps, say just like that. How's that? Okay, there we go. And you can see the paints and all, brilliant. Okay. Um, I'll start with little bits of grasses and things like that, that, which we have down there. So let me just clean my brushes, get them nice and clean. Okay, nice clean brushes. And I'm going to use a small rough kind of a brush for those little bits of grasses. Um, I'm thinking something like this. Or you could even use the corner of a fan brush or something if you wanted as well. That would work quite well. Um, or something like this even. Yeah, let's try this. So we're getting a nice warm colour now with this. So some burnt umber. And I'm seeing it's almost like a greeny brown, isn't it? So a little black and a touch of yellow, I think. So a little bit of yellow there again. I'm going for a very dirt, a dirty kind of a green, a very dirty browny green, okay? Now, <coughs> excuse me, let's just test this out first. Alright, it's not bad. And you can create little grasses, look, just like that. So let me just go along the front here and I'll create my line, okay? Let me go into the burnt umber, go up into that. And I'm just creating the impression of these little bushes just along the front here. 
and I might take some black. I will get the fan brush going in just a moment. I just want to kind of get in the general shape of things. Before I start hitting it with some details, um, it's just kind of these sort of bushy things, isn't it? Just stick up. They're very sporadic, they kind of just pop out everywhere, don't they? Now, I'm going to switch to my fan brush. Okay? A nice new shiny fan brush. What did I do with it? I think this is the one. Okay? And I'm going to go, it's dark against the light, so I'm going to go nice and dark with this, okay? So I'm going to, no, no turpentine now, just, let's go into some black, let's take a hint of yellow, and that will give us a very dark kind of a blacky green, and I just want to try it just for a moment, okay? Bear with me, let's just see. Okay, that's not working. I might add a touch of turpentine, I'll go into some burnt sienna some black and a touch of yellow okay let's try this ah there that's better isn't it no Use that colour now, let's just go along the bottom like this. Create a nice dark just at the bottom of that. Okay, a little bit of top and tine, some more burnt cyanide, some more black. And let's just put an impression of some of those popping up here and there. And that little touch of top and time does actually help. I didn't think I'd need it, but it does help because when we're working wet on wet, sometimes the thicker paint won't stick to the thicker paint underneath unless it's a little on the wet side. So yeah, ignore that advice. Add a touch of top and time. So there's one for the books. I was wrong. Okay. Now, let me just take a look at that now and see how we're going. Right, now we can add a few little details with our pointy brush if we like. Now a really pointy brush for this, okay? A very, very small pointy brush, look. Tiny little brush. And let's just get some black. And we can add little touches of detail. So there could be those little reeds with the little buds on the top of them, do you know them ones? Something like that. Nice just to have a little bit of detail, I think. You know, why not? And so look, we could even put in some little grasses, if we want. See? And what we could do then also is, with our fan brush, we could add a suggestion of light. Now I'm giving this a good clean on my turpentine and, rub, turpentine and rubbing it on the tissue very well. And we could, like we said, let's say, let's take a touch of yellow and lots of white, okay? And let's imagine the sun is kind of just catching one or two of these just here and there. Look. See? A uh, touch of cyanide, perhaps. With lots of white, okay? See? And you would even, sometimes you would even have a very warm kind of a colour, um, a kind of a sunlit colour from that sun, see?
just here and there. And let's put a couple here. And let's imagine now we have some little touches of light between some of the bushes. Now, okay, oh, we're getting there. No, that's not bad, is it? Let's put a little touch of this coming through here and a little bit there. And that is that. And right along the bottom, let's just put a nice strong dark colour, some brown, some of that burnt sienna. And let's just dab down there with that fan brush, okay? 